Good morning. It's time for Sunday school. And we got S we're going to do today. Everybody say A, B, C. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. We still got the rocks over there, don't we? S. That was for what letter? What were the rocks for, Gloria? Rock. What letter? R. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. Okay. And let's talk about what we're going to do for S. I could have done Samson. Samuel. I could have done Solomon for Samuel. I could have done Sarah, right? Saul. Saul. I could have done a lot of people, but I kept searching and searching. That started with an S too, didn't it? I kept searching, and then I decided I would do this. Sing. Sing. Sing is a real or important part of our church, isn't it, to sing? How many of you like to sing? Do you like to sing, Nehemiah? Yeah. No, yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gloria, do you like to sing? Uh, a little bit when I feel like it. Oh, so it's not a passion? You don't just love singing? Yeah. I sometimes love it. Okay. I sometimes just, yeah. Could it take it or leave it? All right. Amani, do you like to sing? Yes, ma'am. No, no hesitation. She does. Okay, so we're going to do some singing first. Yay. Sister Lee's going to play for us, and we're going to do some singing. Okay, do y'all know that song, Rise and Shine and Give God the Glory, Glory? It's okay. real easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, well, here's what we're going to do. You're going to sing it, Rise and... Let's see. Come on and... Come on and rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Shine, you're gonna get up, okay? Alright, so we crunch down. Yeah, ready? Come, ready, come on and rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Sit back down real quick. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children. Go ahead, Gloria. Glory, glory, rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, children 
Mama seen that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'll sing the verses. can sing just about any time. Lots of people say no singing at the table. They don't want you to sing when you're eating. <laughs> and probably no in, with your mouth in your classroom, they won't let you just bust out singing, will they? <laughs> but as you're out there in the yard playing, or if you're in your bathroom taking a shower, can you sing? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can sing just about anywhere where you can make any noise at all. You can sing. And the Lord loves singing. Let me tell you why I know that. Let's, let's, let's first tell a little story here. This is a story about Israel and a whole bunch of soldiers. Look at these thousands and thousands of soldiers. Had come to try to destroy all of the people of Israel. You think they know the story? And they were, so many of them, that they, the people were really afraid. And God spoke to them through a prophet and he said, you don't need to fight in this battle. You stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Okay, Nehemiah, listen. You stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So instead of them getting all their weapons all sharpened up and uh, getting their strongest men to go and fight, they brought all the singers and they put them all in, in order, all the singers. And they went out, instead of fighting, they went out praising and magnifying the Lord. They started praising the Lord with singing. And they're out there singing and singing about the Lord, praising Him and worshiping Him. And guess what happened, Gloria? The soldiers started fighting each other where the battle was. The different kinds of uh, countries that were coming against them, they started fighting each other. And they all fought each other and killed each other. And while all of the Israel people, all these Israelites, they were just singing and praising God. God said, you don't need to fight. Just get out there and sing. Have you ever thought you could fight a battle by singing? No way. You, well, you can. No you can way. sing. You can sing the glory down. Lori, you've sung the glory down before. Sing the glory down. That means God's glory. He starts working because we're singing. You know, the, the Paul and Silas, they were in the jail. Y'all know this story, don't you? I told it to you. Remember they were in the jail? And what did they do when they were in the jail and they were in the stocks and they were all beaten on their backs? You do know Nehemiah? I'm going to let him have first chance in. You tell me. Um, they can have fun singing songs that they can have. Everyone can sing. That's what they did. That's what they did. Paul and Silas, tell us about it, Gloria. So, Paul and Silas, they were locked in jail. They, they had no keys, nothing. So... Instead of just moaning, complaining, being angry, all they did was just started to sing. Praise God, didn't they? And then and what then, happened? And then suddenly, there was like, it was like an 
earthquake. It was an earthquake. It shook like the prison. All, and all the stocks were broken off and right. the door was unlocked. Yes. Everything. Yes, so singing was powerful, wasn't it? It got a hold of the Lord. Amen. Whoa, you start singing his praises and you're going to find out he'll, get, he'll come to you. He'll start working and he'll start helping you. And so that's what these people did. They just went out there to the battlefield and they sang. Now I'm going to tell you about a man that loved to sing. A man in the Bible that loved to sing. Look at him. Well, look, when he was just a shepherd boy, he was powerful. There came a bear to take his lamb. There came a lion to take his lamb. He whipped both of them with only his rod. He got the lamb back from the bear one time and from the lion one time. He caught them by the beard. He got a hold of them and got loose from them. Got his animals loose from them. So he was a powerful man. Look, he also was able to kill the giant Goliath. So he was a powerful warrior, even though he was just a boy because he believed in the Lord and trusted in the Lord. But here's what, look, and he was also anointed king of Israel only when he was a young man, right? So all of those things were wonderful, but here's how it got started. Here's how David got started. He got started out there keeping his sheep with his harp, See, and he had his guitar. Yeah, that's what it was called a harp or a lyre. It was he were he plucked those strings and he started making up songs to the Lord. Started singing songs. And it was they were not just called songs. Let's let me find that piece of paper that I had. Let's see where it is. Maybe it's in here. Yes. Nope, that's not it. Oh, well, maybe I laid it down somewhere. Here it is. Here it is. This is what a psalm is. Poetry sung along with music. Does that spell psalm, Gloria? Each beginning of each word. Poetry sung along with music. So David wrote poetry sung along with music. He was out there with his sheep, and he began to write and sing, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Wow, that sounded good. Let's see. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. That sounded good too. Did you like that one, Lord? He leadeth me beside the still waters. You know, and he just went on until he got that whole psalm written. He knew it was right, and he wrote poetry, sung along with music. That's a psalm. So David began to write psalms, and when you look in the Bible, you will find psalms that David wrote. I think he has, let me find my other piece of paper here. He had something like all the psalms. David wrote many of the psalms, 73 plus there's 150 psalms, and David wrote over 73 of them. So he was wrote almost half of the psalms. So David was called the sweet psalmist of Israel. One of David's chief attributes or his good things that he could do, the one, one thing that he really could do was play this harp and sing to the Lord. You know, Loria, when we talk about when we talked about David, look at all these things he did. Maybe because he found strength in singing to the Lord. Maybe that's why he was able to defeat the lion and defeat the bear. Maybe because he found strength in singing to the Lord, that might have been why he was able to kill Goliath. And maybe because he found strength in singing to the Lord. That might be why God anointed him the king of Israel. Because he found strength. You will find strength when you sing to the Lord, Nehemiah. Those, some of you children, y'all, when the choir's going on, y'all don't even try to sing. You're playing with something. You're talking to each other. or you're, You know, you're just kind of just sitting there. No, don't do that. 
Every time the church sings, stand up and try to sing. Because you're finding strength. You're finding help for yourself to be able to be like David. He was called the sweet psalmist of Israel. Look, when Saul had this horrible uh, spirit from the devil, this horrible spirit that made him so angry and, and ill and sad, he, they found, they, he said, bring me somebody that can play. And they found David and brought David to him. And he played and sang to Saul, and Saul would ease off and feel better. King Saul looks creepy in that picture. Well, let me just tell you something. When when you can sing, when you know a good song like Noel, you know that one you love? Mm -hmm. When you know a good song and you sing it to somebody that's having a rough time, they're having a rough time. They don't know what they're going to do. And then all of a sudden, here's this little Nehemiah singing a beautiful song to them. They can be nice. Yes, they can be nice. They can be nice. Yes. They can things, nobody. things will get better, won't it? Because so the word that we're studying that. today is sing. There's a verse in the Bible that says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Ooh, we're about, are we running out of time? About six minutes. Six minutes. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Lori, have you ever written a song or made up a song? I thought you did. Well, I once did, but then it sort of fell apart. Oh, did it? You didn't get it together yet. Well, you're only seven. But later on, the Lord may send a song into your mind. That's what he does sometimes, Nehemiah. He'll send a song into your mind, and you'll go, Oh, that would be a good song. You go and you write down the words, and then you, uh, if you got a phone, you sing it onto the phone on your recording so you don't forget the tune. That's what I do. I have to sing it so I don't forget the tune. Pretty soon I'm singing a song that has never been in this world before. Can you imagine singing a song that's never been in this world before? Uh, 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 I can't. Well, I have. I have several songs that I've never been in this world before. And, uh, I've done what the Bible says. It's so, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. So God wants the whole earth to be singing unto him. How do you think the squirrels sing, Gloria? How do you think the trees sing? How do you think the sand sings? How do you think the earth sings to the Lord? Do you think the earth sings to the Lord? Um, I know it yodels every week. <laughs> the whole earth yodels that would be some something for the lord to hear wouldn't it but what about you you can do your singing part can't you can you sing unto the lord every week every day you can imani i know you can can't you imani you can sing unto the lord go ahead sing some more Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. So you know a song. You know a song. So when you know a song, start singing it unto the Lord. All the earth. God wants all the men, all the women, all the boys, all the girls. He wants every one of us to sing unto him. Do you think God likes to hear you sing, Gloria? Right. Yeah, Maya, pay attention. I guess. You guess? You don't know? Well, my singing's not that good anyway. Wait a minute. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to ask. Even if you think your singing isn't good, does the Lord like to hear it? Yes, he does. What if you can't carry a tune at all? You start singing a song and nobody knows what that song is except for the words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, what Do you think God wouldn't like that? I don't think he so. said, sing unto the Lord all the earth. He didn't mean it just the people that could carry a good tune. He meant everybody start singing unto the Lord. Amani, does the Lord like to hear you sing? He does. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah, does the Lord like to hear you sing? He does. 
Wow. What about you, Brother Jose? Does the Lord like to hear you sing? Sure he does. All right. And do you have to say, do you have to sound like somebody that's famous singing or somebody that can is known for their wonderful, beautiful singing? No. You don't have to sound like anybody but yourself. Right. And it has to come from your heart. You know, if you're just singing a song that you know, and you're not even thinking about the words, and it doesn't matter to you that God's listening, that song's not that good. But if you start thinking about the words, and you're thinking about God listening to you, and you're wanting it to be beautiful for Him, and you try your best to sing it as well as you can, don't you know He loves that? Don't you know, Loria? He loves that. When you're singing unto him. It says sing unto the Lord a new song. Not just sing a new song. But sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Okay, we're just about out of time. Hallelujah. Let's see. Oh, one more picture I want to show you. Let's see, two more really. This is David when he was king. Do you think he still sang when he was king? I think so. Yes, ma'am. You think he did? Did he sing a song like, I love to be king for the Lord? I love to be king for the Lord? Oh, how I love to be king for the Lord. <laughs> That'd be a pretty song, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get, put a tune to it. I love to be king for the Lord. I love to be king for the Lord. Oh, I love to be king for the Lord. I love to be king for the Lord. And then if it's a girl saying, I love to be queen for the Lord. Yes. I love to be and you're singing it to me. Okay, one more thing. See, look, here's where you're going to church. Here's you praying. Here's you're giving your tithes and offering. Here you're reading your Bible. But there's one more thing about this church that you need to remember to do. What is it, Lori? Um, sing. Sing. When you get in God's house, the Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And a joyful noise is singing. That's what singing is, is a joyful noise, isn't it? Okay, we're going to stop right there. Next week, what letter are we going to do? Um, what more, wait, e Nehemiah, what letter are we going to do next week after um, an S? D B. Q R S. P O R S. Q R S. Q R S. What's next? Um... Church thing. No, no. Q R S. Ant. Q R S. N. Ant. What is it? What is it, Amani? Q R S what? Q R S. What's the next letter? Q R S T. You got it. Got it. All right, we're gonna do T next week. Here, here's your singing. Y'all can take these home and color them. Sing. Sing. Okay, because we didn't have time this morning to do our color. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. bye, -bye.